In this video, it shows you step by step on how to repaste, how to change the thermal pads and thickness of the thermal pads, how to replace and clean the cooling fans, and lastly, shows you the upgrade option of this laptop. Hello guys, it's me again, Take That Screw Out. If you haven't subscribed on this channel, please consider subscribing and click that thumbs up icon and notification bell. Check the description down below for the equipment and tools I use in this video, which is available to purchase in Amazon.com in United States and Amazon.co.uk in United Kingdom. Let's begin the tutorial. First, the screwdriver that I'm going to use is the wall stick electric screwdriver and the bits that I'm going to use is the Phillips screw or VH1 and the star screw which is T5 Tango 5 you have to unscrew 10 screw at the back cover 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 For the back cover, I'm going to use the star screw T5. Don't change who I am. I'm making a new plan, rearranging my life, and I won't look back ever again. To open the back cover, you have to use this spraying tool. I, I normally use these tools. You better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, plan them out, evaluate it. That's how I end up on the top, man. I'm calculated. My mind's a weapon, my body is the engine. I'm never second guessing. Okay, the back cover is just plastic. Before you detach any component inside the laptop, you have to make sure you have to remove the connector for the battery first. That's the first thing to do. So to remove the battery connector, this one, push this one that direction. And to remove the battery, you have to unscrew three screws. One, two, three. And the bits I'm going to use is the Phillips screw VH1. So be careful with this wire here. This is the speaker wire. So these are the upgrade option of this laptop. So the stock. SSD is M.2 SATA SSD. SSD is about 2245, the short one, the middle one. But you can use an adapter. You can use like a normal 2280, the long one. If you upgrade this SSD, M.2 SSD, you can only use the SATA M.2. And the Wi-Fi, the stock one, is not the normal PCI Express so this is the upgrade option m.2 ssd which is the drive c where the windows is installed to unscrew this one so the stock one they use a shorter size of the m.2 ssd which is i believe this size is the 2245 20 i think this is longer a bit longer than 2230 but this is just screwed in if you want to use a normal size like 2280, you can just, you don't need to use this adapter here. You can just screw it in here and then up to here. You can screw this one here. So the stock one, they use a SATA M.2 SSD. And the Wi-Fi, you can remove the Wi-Fi here. You can upgrade the Wi-Fi as well. To upgrade the Wi-Fi, unscrew here. The stock one is a bit smaller 
PCI Express Wi-Fi card but you can use normal Wi-Fi PCI Express card if you want to upgrade this one like Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E yeah you can do that one and there is an additional SSD which is 2.5 for the storage so you can just unscrew this one here just remove three screw and this one here underneath the speaker you need to remove the speaker first to access those screw uh, actually it's four screw you can use oh this is the slim one this is a slim 2.5 hard drive or slim 2.5 ssd and the ram this one's the ram the stock one is 4 gigabyte installed behind in the motherboard underneath and this is an empty slot which is you can install another additional 8 gigabyte just loosen this one here this four pin one two and this one or this two another another side and then carefully lift it up using applying tools so there is another slot for the ram which is for if you want to upgrade to have more ram so again upgrade option is the ram you can add more ram you can add more storage uh to open five hard drive or 2.5 ssd you can upgrade the drive c m.2 ssd into us uh, to a longer one which is a sata ssd and you can upgrade the wi-fi card and to remove the heatsink the fan and the heatsink for the cpu just unscrew one two three four five five screw I'm changing my life and I won't look back ever again No fear, see clear, you deserve to be great I know it feels like things get in your way Push through those walls and the others will fall Sit up, stand tall, you can get through it all I need some energy, anxiety is no friend of me Before lifting the fan, you had to clear this wire first and then you can lift the fan and then remove the connector of the fan this one here just push this one to left direction So this is the model of the fan. And then lift up the heatsink. And to remove the Wi-Fi, you have to disconnect these two wire first. The blue and the white. So this connector here, this is the connector for the LCD screen and this is the battery for the CMOS battery and this ribbon here connector is for the SD card reader it's on the side if you want to remove this just flick this one the black plastic flick it up like so and then flick it up and then just pull the ribbon and this ribbon here is for the connector for the trackpad flick this one and then pull the ribbon this one for the speaker for this side and goes the other side so this laptop is so clean there's no dust so i don't need to blow this one with my air blower but i normally use a x power air blower to clean all the dust in the fan and the heat sink and for the dry up the pcb that is very powerful one if you if you're interested to buy one of those just check in the description below and for cleaning the residue for the heat 
paste, I normally use 99.9% of isopropyl alcohol. Never use 60% alcohol or 70%. 99.9% dissipate quickly, so it's more safer not to get a short circuit in your circuit board. I will start cleaning the residue. So on this one I will just use a normal paintbrush to brush all the small dust that is in the cooling fan. Actually there's no dust because this laptop is slightly new. It can't stop what's moving. It can't stop what's moving. I'm changing. So it's time to put it back together. So the thermal paste that I'm going to use is the SYY thermal paste and also I have a recommendation for another brand which is the Arctic MX5 or MX6 and the Noctowa NTH2 thermal paste which is really good. So if you apply for thermal paste, don't put too much. So first I have to screw in the heatsink first. Make sure it aligns properly. And when you screwed in the CPU or GPU screw, you have to do the crisscross pattern. I'm making a new plan, rearranging my life. You have to do it gradually. I won't look back ever again. Yeah. If you ain't see me activated, you better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my. Okay, and then the fan. You have to insert the connector underneath. I have to insert the connector first, make it easier. And then don't forget, you have to put this one on the original position, which is here. Persistence and obsession, that's how you keep progressing. I already learned that lesson, yeah. I'm changing who I am. I'm making a new plan. So, this screw. Rearranging my life, and I won't look back ever again. You can't stop. Make sure the fan is free. The spin. You can't stop what's moving. I'm changing my life. I have to put it back the Wi Fi card. So pay attention. This Wi Fi card, this is the stock one from the factory, which is a bit smaller. But you can upgrade this one to like the normal size PCI Express Wi Fi card, which is this size. So it's gonna be this size here if you want to upgrade it to Wi Fi 6 or 6E. Like so. I won't look back ever again. No fear, see clear. You deserve to be great. I know it feels like things get in your way. Push through those walls. Wi Fi card cable, the white, this white here goes to the white. There's a indicator here. Make sure it clicks. It doesn't click if you didn't if you don't hear any click so that means not been properly installed you have to see that clicks the second one the black one goes here 
I have to check make sure it's connected properly doesn't come off yeah push it in and then put back the protector sticker the foam to protect the connector and then for the M.2 SSD remember this can be upgraded to a longer one which is you don't need to use this adapter if you use a longer one but you still have to use a SATA M.2 SSD if you want to upgrade it I'm not 100% sure about NVMe the fast M.2 SSD it works on this uh, chipset but you have to check in the AMD website but this one is a SATA so if you want to upgrade to make it 100% sure it will work use a SATA M.2 SSD <laughs> On this laptop, if you upgrade to a NVMe SSD, it um, doesn't make any sense because this is not a gaming laptop. This is like um, for like a students or just for browsing internet. So you don't need a NVMe very fast M.2 SSD on this laptop. SATA SSD is fast enough for browsing internet, just like a normal use. And then for the 2.5 hard drive storage or SSD that can be additional storage so you have to clear this speaker first before you can install this so don't forget 2.5 SSD or 2.5 normal hard disk drive which is a slim one not the thick one 7 millimeter thickness screw it in back and I feel like the pain in the past It needs to stay in the past You gotta take off the cast I wanna feel like I'm a new person I wanna have clear vision and purpose And I feel like the Okay, and then Place the speaker And then just uh, a reminder you can upgrade or you can pull additional RAM you can pull about 8 gigabyte RAM additional on this one push it in and then push back this 4 pin 2 in this side like so and then you have to check all the connector is being connected properly you have to make sure that fan Wi-Fi this is the yeah everything looks fine so lastly the battery um battery this is the model of the battery if you need to replace yours okay so battery so don't forget the or original position of this wire is on the top goes here and speaker wire goes here and this one here and this one goes underneath see But don't connect the connector for the battery first. You have to screw it in first. Make 
make your sure snug fit not not over tighten and then connect the battery make sure you connect the battery connector properly push it in and then check again all the connector before you have to put it back the back cover looks good brush this one clean this one before you put it back okay put back the back cover make sure it clicks check all the sides it's aligned and then change the screw bits to the star screw T5 so I'll start on the middle That's the end of the tutorial. If you did enjoy and find this video helpful, please consider subscribing, share the video so it could help others too, and click that thumbs up icon to help this channel to make more helpful tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching.